and welcome back to the sesh. I am Kendall Ray. And I'm Janelle. And we have a special guest here joining us for part <laughs> of the show. Do. Oh, oh she <laughs> yep. took your mic. She did. You need to see a holster. Little Holly here for her first Holly Jolly Christmas. Oh, it's a Holly Jolly <laughs> Christmas. That's never going to get old ever. I know. It's the cutest thing. When she's old, she's going to be like, okay, yeah, I get it. Like, All right. I Holly hate Jolly Christmas. Christmas. Um, Great. <laughs> yeah. Hi, silly girl. Yep. She wanted to come out and just say hi to y'all. Mm-hmm. She has her matching Christmas jammies. Today, we are going to be doing a holiday episode. We figured we needed some cheer. Last week's episode was pretty heavy. Um, We talked about a lot of intense topics. So we just wanted to really relax and kick off the holiday season, get in a good mood. And so we are doing our annual gingerbread making. In fact, we are switching it up this year. We normally do houses and like RVs, but... (laughs) Yeah, <laughs> we specialize normally in RVs and trailers. <laughs> That's like the last two years, I think. Well, we've only done it for two years. But anyways, this year we decided to switch it up. We have a nutcracker and a Christmas tree. Folks. Wow. Very big, big doings. changes big this year. Big doings here. Hell yeah. yeah. And we're in our Christmas jammies. Mm-hmm. Charles and I are in ours. Charles has a Very snowman nice. on. Very good, Char. Yep. And we're uh, ready to freaking rumble yeah okay, we're gonna freaking cringy. rumble for sure we also have our tree here folks yes brought her all the way from the studio i thought i lost her for a sec but no she's just in storage she's yep. out and about looking yep. cute as ever yep and holly has her own mic look at holly's little mic <laughs> Yee! janelle got me this very early into my pregnancy yeah i like, think for like your birthday or something yeah Yay! Yeah, have anything to say? She's got. She's actually talking a lot now. She's being quiet. I know, of course. She's very interested in these trash bags mm-hmm. here. Very interested in the trash she's bags. Like this is amazing, mom. So we so do this at home. Yeah, mm. you can play with. She's it. finally starting to become like interested in all of her surroundings and curious. Oh, big time! She's into everything. So cute. Yeah, she so definitely fun. is trying to get to these cookies here. Yay! Is it fun? I want cookies. <laughs> Next year you can eat cookies. That was silly. I know. Yeah, All right. you can't really enjoy it too much. I was thinking about taking her to do a Santa or something, but yeah. I'm like, I feel like she'd not be into that. And I'm a little. Isn't that really germy? I would assume it's right? really extremely disgusting. Yeah. Like we went to um, oh gosh, I forget the name. Cabela's. And they had a Santa there. What's Cabela's? It's oh, like that's like sport, yeah, yeah, outer yeah. sporting goods stuff. Um, but anyway, um, I kind of bailed on the Santa. I was going to have her do a picture with him. But you bailed. I was like, there's all these kids that just got off his lap. Oh, yeah. Just like sneezing on him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I got kind of freaked out. So yeah. We skipped that. Wow. You love this. Should we let you trash play with trash, trash bags, bags at home? Yeah, let's see. Just give her a trash bag. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Just people. kidding, everyone. Just kidding. <laughs> She likes this though. Gosh, it's a crinkly, fun sound. Yes, it's very. Fun. Pretty soon she'll be into the toys that like make that little crinkle. Oh yeah, sound. You know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I feel like she's right there, being able to be into toys. Mm-hmm. I think around the time she starts sitting up, yep. maybe she'll have more interest to actually like hold something. Definitely. But look at her grabbing at stuff. Wow, you're pretty strong. <laughs> she's like impressed. trying to put it in her mouth. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of gross. Don't do that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Should we go ahead and start our decorations? Yes. Thank we you, will. Holly, Let's for have making that appearance. You. Yay. Say Before goodbye. we start decorating, we want to thank our sponsors, Manscaped and ZocDoc, and thank our little Squish for coming on the show. <laughs> Thanks for coming on, honey. Aww. <laughs> She's so cute. Yeah. Who knows when she'll be on again? Yeah. She's going to start being at home with the nanny pretty soon. Mm-hmm. A couple more recordings with her in the building. That's definitely been a bit of a challenge. <laughs> Yes. Little thanks bit. to Sydney, though. Honestly, yes. yeah. Well, not not a challenge. Thanks to Sydney, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no. thanks to Sydney, she makes it better because oh. she has been watching Holly during every mile higher for the past couple of months yeah. now. Months. Yeah, and yeah, it's been extremely helpful. So I love helpful. it. I know. It's so much fun. You're so good with her. Yay, sweet baby. He's so right. cute. See goodbye, guys. Say bye. Thanks for letting me on. Take your microphone away. <laughs> yeah. Go record your own podcast, the Holly cast. Yep. <laughs> Guys, we are notoriously 
bad bad at yeah. anything green <laughs> like really bad these are always so bad <laughs> yeah like really bad but so this try. is the what third year we've this done this is the third year that's right i, I like to see it some tradition going on thank god um, for tradition yeah baby. who knows why we do this these get really messy did i was it last year that i was a complete mess like all over my hands i believe and, so. or was that the year before mm, i think or that was last both. year yeah i think that <laughs> maybe both years <laughs> could be yeah um it's hard doing this shit bro gotta be real careful otherwise everything's fucked i get stressed out about the time and then i just the time give up you know yeah i'm like i'm running out of time oh, forever yeah if I, take, true. if I take my time we'd be here three hours true you know and it would still look like asshole at that's least right. mine would that's right so, and i'd be mad so. whatever yeah okay we also have speaking of asshole am i the asshole oh, that's right that you guys wanted a holiday edition am i the asshole here it is here it is, folks. And he's going to read us off. Now, some of these are long, so bear with us. But we figured it'd be better if Sid read them versus us, because otherwise we legit would be here for seven years. Yeah. Um. So, okay. Yeah. So what are you making? Can you explain what you're doing? Yes, ma'am. Here, I'll hold up the box. This is what it's supposed to look like, folks. This little Ooh. tree here is supposed to turn out See, like this. That looks complicated. Yeah, right. Good thing you're doing this one. <laughs> I know I was gonna like let you pick, but then I was like putting this one together or like no, setting it up. I was like, oh shit. Hard. Cause you gotta like string the lights and put on this like spinny base. I don't know, man. Oh my god. So I'm sure it won't look cute like this. I'm sure it's gonna look like horrible, but whatever. <laughs> I wish these were like good to eat. That's the only thing. Like, of course you can mm-hmm. eat them, but they taste like butt. Yeah. Like, even this, these things taste bad. Do they? Yeah. They just taste like stale, bad candy. Ew. You know what I mean? Yeah. Ginger, house, ginger houses are not good. Mm-hmm. Oh, I did see this mm-hmm. one at the store that was pre-built. And all you had to do is decorate. I was very tempted yeah. to get that for us because we the building is what really that's gets really us. That's really where we get frustrated. <laughs> where we get frustrated. And that's how we make a mess. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So I was tempted. And I was like, no. Mm. Got to give ourselves a little challenge. You're just going to be cute. Yeah. Mr. Nut. Well, I have uh, Lord Farquaad, the nut cracker. <laughs> it does look like him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, it looks like him. We'll see how it actually turns out. Can you guys see? Mm. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, we'll see if it looks good or not. Mm. Okay. So here, here he is. Here we go. Before and, we'll and check after. Out the after. Okay. All right. All right. Folks, yeah, Sydney, let's hear. Hit us with the first. Okay. Am I the you actual? Should wait. You should oh. probably set yours up first before you decorate it. <laughs> i'm so impulsive i swear i was like wait that's gonna make it really hard for you oh how do you set it up uh you gotta read With your the instructions green? see how oh, it's right. like instructions has... i don't do instructions oh, my very often god oh my <laughs> lord okay go ahead Sid. am i the asshole for sitting on my husband's lap during thanksgiving dinner because all the chairs at the table were taken sitting on daddy's lap Mm. sexy mm. i a 28 year old female have been with my husband sean male 33 for two years married for five months most of most of his family are decent people but his mom can be a little passive aggressive and tends to criticize me a lot sean sees it as her still not getting used to me being around but i don't know because she treats his ex Jalissa, good oh ex Jalissa. yes okay. mother-in-law says that Jalissa has been around the family for ages and her past with sean never affected her relationship with her <laughs> okay god um, this bitch is hung up on Jalissa. yeah she said i never minded her attending every holiday and being around till yesterday um we had thanksgiving dinner at my mother-in-law's house sean went there before me and when i arrived it was already dinner time uh, everyone was seated and i saw that all the chairs were taken i asked my mother-in-law why she didn't save me a seat and she said sorry and that one of her granddaughters decided to show up last minute and the chair was taken <laughs> that's so mean i i looked at yeah i looked at her then at Jalissa, who was sitting next to sean wait Jalissa was there yeah <laughs> the ex-girlfriend's there too yeah and Jalissa had a spot damn Jalissa's next to the husband damn okay. yeah so what's the issue i looked at her and then at Jalissa, who was sitting next to sean and tried to point out how i was more deserving of her chair since i'm the daughter-in-law and then she goes and quotes she's like i know i shouldn't have said it I know, I know. I'm like, oh my gosh, you said that out loud. So mother-in-law flat out said that Jalissa is much as family as I am and that it was rude to imply otherwise. Jalissa was nodding confidently. Da, da, da. So this drama at the table. 
Oh my, Ooh. wait, why the fuck? I'm still confused why Jalissa's there with the new girlfriend and sitting next to the dude. Okay, whatever. Because a mom and the mother-in-law and are like good friends. Okay. That's jacked up, but. I'd be pissed. So then, I guess after their little fight, Jalissa was nodding confidently while glancing at me. I was so upset. I wanted to leave, but decided to just sit on my husband's lap and act as <laughs> casual as possible and started eating so casually while sp- smiling and complimenting the food and mentioning to Sean how warm and comfortable his lap was now and then. Oh, yeah. The table went awkwardly silent. Um, Brother-in-law would try to break the silence and change the subject, but somehow it always get awkward again. Uh, Mother-in-law and Jalissa were barely eating and were staring at each other, then at me, eyes wide open. Minutes later, Jalissa excused herself to the bathroom and so did the mother-in-law. It was still awkward, but I did my best to focus on dinner. Sean was eating as well. Later, there was just so much tension, and my mother-in-law was barely able to speak after Jalissa left early. Sean and I went home, and mother-in-law tried calling, but then called Sean and texted me saying what I did was inappropriate, and then I ruined Thanksgiving dinner (laughs) and made it awkward. God, people have too much time on their hands. I was just, how, oh my God. I don't understand the issue. I feel like we get the gist of it. She enjoyed being on the lap. No, because. She didn't bitch about it. Yeah, I guess that's true. So what? Why are they all upset? Because Jalissa, the ex, was there, and and she had a seat, but not that current yeah. girlfriend. But what's the issue? If she doesn't have an issue, current girlfriend's fine. She says she liked being on his lap. Yeah, but the mom didn't like her on the lap. <laughs> well, why though? The mom. Then you should have found a fucking seat for her <laughs> yeah. to sit at. Where's she supposed to sit? Go outside and sit so, in the grass. Like, what <laughs> the hell? Sit on the toilet. She said. Um, she said it wasn't her fault. Chairs were taken, and I could have dragged a chair from the kitchen, but acted childishly. It made Delissa and family feel uncomfortable with how inappropriate I was. Just grab a chair from. The- okay, wait. Why wouldn't the mom just grab the chair from the? Good God, people got too much damn time on their hands. I, yeah, I think some people are bored in the holidays. If the holidays are your source of drama, you don't got a lot going on. Damn, that's wild. So is she. So the question is: Is she the asshole for sitting on her husband's lap? Is that correct? No. Correct. Why? Why? In what world would you be the asshole? Cause she it ruined made, like Jalissa feel bad or something. She ruined. No, she made the mom feel awkward. So she yeah, ruined like Thanksgiving. Then get a chair if you feel awkward. Bring her a seat, dude. That's so funny. <laughs> oh, no, you're God. not an asshole. I think the mom's an asshole, yeah, though. I think. Mom is definitely a bored asshole. Bored asshole. Yeah, inviting your ex girlfriend. Yeah, or your that husband's ex girlfriend. That's just so bizarre to me. Okay, I got beef Uh-oh. with this cookie thing because I'm not gonna set it up and then try to decorate it when it's standing and like barely Honestly, together. True. Wow, yours looks really good. I'm honestly <laughs> impressed. Four o'clock's going along well. Let me see. I agree. Maybe you should just decorate it and then try and stand it up after. I think that's going to be the only move. And I don't like how they're on their kits. They make it look so good. Of course. Like, you guys did not use these fucking... Of course. No, bro. <laughs> this is a computer. No. This is like <laughs> graphic design. Yes. Yeah, this is clearly... Look how smooth the icing is. And they have so much more than they actually give you. They gave you um, gold balls, though. Okay. That is nice. I like some gold balls. Mm-hmm. Very good. All right. All right. Continue. Continue. All right. Yeah. um, Verdict is you're not the asshole. Yeah. God, people are dramatic. Fighting over shit like that on the holidays. Who gives a fuck? Stupid. (laughs) Dude, look how cute my tree is. So cute. Although I think it's going to like fall apart. It looks a little lopsided. It's definitely lopsided. (laughs) I'm (laughs) realizing now. (laughs) Shit. What do I do? Oh, but it's already, you already icinged it all up. Yeah. Damn, you're quick. Look at you. Well, mine's a little bit easier. It's just stacking things. But the hard part comes now. I got to decorate it and put the lights on it, which hard I don't know how to do. How do you put the fucking tree on or the star? The holidays came early this year, ladies. If you're still not sure what to get the man in your life, then look no further than our friends at Manscaped. The leading men's hygiene brand just launched new products that your man will actually use, including their new shower time favorite, the Body Buffer. It's time to give the man in your life the gift of smooth balls and good shower time experience this holiday season. And we've got a special offer. You can get free shipping and 20% off by going to manscaped.com and using Sesh at checkout. Friends, I don't know about you, but I'm tired of finding Santa's beard in my dude's pants. But luckily, hairy balls are a thing of the past with Manscaped's Performance Package 4.0. 
Inside, you'll find the signature Lawn Mower 4.0. This electric trimmer has proprietary advanced skin safe technology and it's waterproof so you can use it in the shower. The Performance Package 4.0 also includes Crop Preserver and Crop Reviver, an anti-chafing ball deodorant, moisturizer, and toner. Keep his North Pole feeling and smelling fresh. And Manscaped is going beyond the groin with their new Ultra Premium Body Wash. It's infused with aloe vera and sea salt to keep his skin feeling clean, nice, and moisturized. And it smells so good, I guarantee you'll want to use it on his body too. Tis the season to load up on Manscaped, folks. Get your man, your dad, your brother, and friends the best gift of all. That's Manscaped Performance Package 4.0. Men are so hard to shop for, getting them a gift that they'll actually use is really hard, but I guarantee you, your man will use Manscaped. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code SESH at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code SESH. Get your man a gift you'll both enjoy. The gift of Manscaped. His jingle balls will thank you. Anyways, all right, Sid, go ahead. Hit us with the next. All right. Am I the asshole for wanting my son and daughter-in-law to come stay with me for Christmas? All right. Um, I moved out of my home state a few years ago with my husband. We still have three kids in our home state. Every Christmas, the youngest two come down. But my oldest, oldest hasn't come um, for Christmas yet. Okay. I keep inviting them, but he told me his wife's family has a huge party every Christmas that she does not want to miss. He says she looks forward to it every year and her entire family goes to it and it's not a tradition she is willing to break so he says coming here for christmas isn't an option mm -hmm. i feel like this isn't fair they can at least come every other christmas now she's pregnant and i know she won't want to travel this christmas but my once but once my grandchild is here i would like to see them for christmas but my son told me they want their child to also take part in the big christmas party i snapped on my son and i told him it was unacceptable he has to make time for our side of the family, too, and I expect to see my grandchild for Christmas. He told me sorry, but this is something that is very important to her, and he doesn't want her, doesn't want to ask her to give it up. Um, I told him it's time for him and his, and my daughter-in-law to grow up. They are married now, and they need to compromise. <laughs> my son has been avoiding my calls and won't be coming here for Thanksgiving. Wait. Oh, that's tough. Yeah, that's tough, but we don't know their side of things. Right. You know, she could yeah. be a real pain in the ass to be around exactly for all we know exactly. she could be a drama starter yeah she could she could be the one the chair that's what i'm saying that's not bringing the chair over exactly she <laughs> could be that type of person for all we know and they might Ooh. just be like we're not coming because of other things right but maybe in reality they just don't want to be with you right Ooh, i don't know bro it is tough to figure out where to go in the holidays yeah it's a pain you know thought. yeah especially when you divorce parents and yes, you have a partner. <laughs> oh, yeah. Then you're like, and you're trying to like figure out. Mm -hmm. oh. And a baby. Because oh. everyone wants the baby there. It's oh, of hard. course. Yeah. Everyone expects oh, yeah. another baby. Yep. Yep. We were getting that this year for sure. Of, we want to see Holly. So come here. <laughs> That's <laughs> annoying. I totally get. No, but... no. You come here then. I'd yeah. be like, you want to see her? Stop by. But then it's like, do I want to host Thanksgiving on top of it? Okay, true. You know? Good point. Mm. that's a tough one i do think it's hard because we don't know all the information here um there could be plenty of reasons but i do feel like it's nice to compromise everyone should get to see their families for the holidays or at least but, maybe like switch off or something yeah but has like the son actually expressed that he's feeling a type of way about it maybe he's telling his wife like all good with me i don't want to go see my mom right that's a <laughs> great know? point yeah Hmm. So who knows if it's not causing an issue for them and they're not fighting over it, maybe it's just a you problem. Oh, I was literally just about to say that. <laughs> maybe it's a you problem. So I don't know. I don't know the real solution. I really don't have an answer for that one, honestly. Family um, shit is hard, especially around the holidays. Yeah, it is. It's a uh, drama. And the older you get, the more stressful it gets. I feel like I'm racing around on the holidays a lot of times. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I know. So, this, I'm preparing for this holiday to just be absolute chaos in every way possible. Really? Yeah, we're actually having both of my parents who are divorced and Josh's parents over for Thanksgiving. Or, or sorry, Christmas. Christmas Day. Yep. Oh, really? It'll be all the grandparents under wow. one room. Well, that's actually so. nice that, you know, that can you can make that oh, happen, yeah. though. No, I'm super. I'm very excited that that is going to happen. But it's just going to be yeah. a lot going on yeah. because my mom's going to be in town. 
everyone wants to have time with you, right? So right, it's like right. days it's from like the 22nd to the 28th where we have things oh, going on. Every oh, day. damn. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, it's going to be a bit chaotic. A bit chaotic. All right. Mm. What else we got? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. This is another. Oh, this can't. This Christmas tree is actually coming out kind of decent. They yeah, never give you say, enough shit, though. Over there. They never give you enough no, crap. I'm don't. already out of green icing. That's what I hate about these kids is they never give you no. enough. And they're not cheap, either. This was like 20 bucks. Yeah, so load us up. We know this like, was like a dollar for you to make. Exactly. Icing is cheap. It's like sugar and water. Yeah. Give us enough. Come on, bro. I'm not even going to be able to glue this bitch to his little thing. You can use some of mine because I have a lot of white icing. All right. If you have any leftovers, I'll take it out of my glue. This is ridiculous. This is freaking ridiculous. All right, now I gotta make this thing look like it snowed. It looks good, you know. That guy looks Thank like he's wearing a, a wife beater at this moment. <laughs> <laughs> he's far clawed. Wife Dude, beater. Your hat looks good as fuck, bro. Wow. Thanks. Good as fuck, really? Good Does it yeah. deserve that title? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like blown away. I don't know. Good as fuck, bro. Those gold balls really do something for it, you know? I like how in the picture it makes it look like you could make these cute little like squiggles. The oh, fuck? I know. Absolutely not. <laughs> Ain't no squiggles in this house. We gotta manage our expectations with these. Clearly. So ugly. Janelle, do you think yours looks good? No, not really. No. Uh, <laughs> not, <laughs> it's not great over here. Oh, Although mine's pretty easy, not gonna lie, but I gotta put lights on it after that's what I'm scared about. Also, it's lopsided and I'm afraid it's gonna just slide off of itself. I am happy that I'm not completely covered in icing at this point. Yet. We prepared to this things. time. Yep. Kind of. Yep. <laughs> Ish. Oh, by the way, we didn't even dress. Crowley's not here today. Oh, oh yeah. Really? Jesus, sorry. We suck. Yeah. She's sick. Yeah, she is. She's not feeling God, good. God, we've all been sick. Yeah. Except for me, yet. But I woke up today feeling like kind of tired and I'm like, oh, I swear if I'm getting sick, I'm going to be very unhappy. No, no, no. Could just be tired, though. Go home and drink like some vitamin C. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Does that really me. even do anything? Though? Oh, I, don't I think know. so. I don't know, man. Once you're sick, I feel like you're going to be sick. No. Well, someone <laughs> recently told us to use um, oregano oil. Remember oh, that? yeah. I have some of it. I've Maybe heard I'll try of that. It out. You should. It's supposed to work. Yeah. We'll see. Probably will taste nasty. Yeah, probably. I started using my fingers, so we'll see how this goes. Oh, and we're screwed. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hit us with the next, Sid. Okay. Am I the asshole for refusing to go to the New Year's Eve party if my partner insists on taking his daughter with us? Got it. Um, Woman, man, daughter. Daughter is only the man, right? Yeah. yeah. So this man okay. and his ex Got it. were are co-parenting. Great. Um, they have schedules, but for New Year's Eve, it was always ex's time. Okay. She was going somewhere for a couple of days with friends and their children this year. Oh, like the kid would go with the ex yep so Got this it. year our friends invited us to a house party adults only in their 30s and 40s one day out of nowhere ex-wife said that they are not going anywhere this year and she will let us know about plans as quote-unquote this is his weekend so maybe he will have alex um i was not happy she couldn't make up her mind for weeks a couple of days ago i asked did she finally decide so we can adjust the plans he said no but he will tell her that if she still doesn't have any plans with Alex, he is taking her and she will go with us to the party. He said that he already called the host and they are okay with that. Well, I'm not. Party with adults only, alcohol and cigarettes is not a place for a 10-year-old. I think that some people may not want to have a shouting, jumping girl around. She needs tons of attention and is very lively and energetic. He said that there are going to be people who have children so they will understand. I said that there might be some reason why they are all leaving their kids behind for the party. Not to mention that there might be someone who simply doesn't like kids, and we must respect that. I said that we should stay at home, invite some of our friends for a night so she won't be bored, and we'll have company with someone her age, and we will have some time for ourselves. He said, I'm being dramatic. It's just one kid who will go to sleep. I conclude that in the case, I'm not going as I will be embarrassed. He's mad that I'm being a party killer. Oh, okay. Mm. That's weird. I think the dad's kind of an asshole. For bringing the kid? Well, did he actually bring her? I don't think it's... The host said it was okay, though. Yeah, if the host said it was okay, that's fine. But I think... I do think it's a little a weird, weird place to bring your kid. Yeah, like, like why not just stay home? Babysitter or, or not go. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's how I feel. I mean, it was pretty clear that it's adults only. I feel like, how would the host say no? 
Yeah, alcohol right. and cigarettes, like that's a little I don't know. I mean, honestly, uh, are you are you an asshole for not going? No, I don't think so. Yeah, I think the dad's kind of an asshole, actually. Plus, why would your kid want to go to that? That sounds, yeah. like, so annoying. Yeah. Because there's not going to be anything for her, the kid to do. And then... He's mad at her for being a party killer. That's so lame. <laughs> You're the party killer for you bringing your kid. No yeah. offense. Exactly. Yeah. Like, it's not the kid's fault, exactly. but, like... I mean, Just stay home. Or get a nanny. Yeah. Or, yeah, stay home. Yeah. You don't get to go. Yeah. Now no one gets to go. I feel like it'd make other people feel uncomfortable... Possibly, you know, if there's like one kid there and like, yeah, you know, clearly it's trying to be like an adult party. Right. Yeah. That sounds, I don't know. I mean, if I was going to what I assumed was an adult party and there was a kid there, I'd be low key like, um, yeah, because what? gotta, <laughs> you can't act like a fool when there's kids around. Exactly. Simple as that. Exactly. Ah, this is getting really messy. Fuck. The ball, my balls are everywhere. <laughs> I don't think she's being an asshole. I think she is the responsible adult. I agree. In the group. I agree. Kids should stay home. Stay home, Stay kid. Up. Spend time. I mean, if you already have a shared custody agreement, right. why not spend that time? Yeah. You know, the time that you do get. I agree. Instead of bringing them to a party that they probably don't want to go wanna to. Don't want to go said, to. They, he said fall asleep. Yeah, how? Like, oh, she'll fall asleep in the like back. She's 10. Yeah, I think that's a little <laughs> weird. Fall asleep. Yeah, when you guys are all screaming. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Jerks. All right, next. Okay. Oh, dude, my hands are so gross feeling. I hate this feeling. I know. How's your dude coming along? He's coming pretty good. I just have to say, doesn't he look like the Pringles guy <gasps> so much? He does. Oh, wow. Can I get a close like up him. on him? Yeah. Yeah, he looks exactly like the Pringles guy. Yep. Yep. He's turning out pretty good so far. Yeah, yours looks really good. He's looking fly. Thank you. Looking fly. <laughs> really good. Really good. I'm, Thank you. I'm sorry, me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling so impressed. Yay. My tree is kind of looking like not great now. Just pisses me off. It doesn't is look like. Is that supposed to be the snow? Yeah. Hmm. It doesn't look like snow. It looks like something a lot nasty. It was looking really cute. <laughs> it, it looks, looks like something like a little inappropriate. A little to be inappropriate. Honest. Yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> it definitely looks like that's what happened to that poor tree. <laughs> God, Kendall, get your fucking head out of the cover. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's still cute. It's still cute. It's and now fun. there's balls on it. The balls are <laughs> they're helping. They're helping? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Take it easy. All okay. right, Sid. Next. I am a 26 year old female. My fiance is 27 and he works in the tech industry. And I'll call him Dave. Okay. Dave. So Dave and I decided to spend our Christmas with his parents, his three brothers, and their spouses. Dave got a huge bonus this year and told me he was going to go all out for me. Ooh, all out. To make up for the past Christmases where we couldn't really afford anything. He asked me what I wanted, and I said I wanted a popular fuzzy bag that was making the rounds on social media. Ooh. We all opened gifts fuzzy on Christmas bag. Eve. <laughs> I want to know what the bag is. <laughs> me too. I'm curious. Huh. Okay, so we all opened gifts on Christmas Eve. One of my sister-in-laws got a fur coat, the other an air fryer she really wanted, etc. When it came to my turn, Dave handed me his phone. I looked and I thought I was going to see a track tracking page for the bag. Ooh. Instead, all I saw was an art picture of a monkey that was supposed to look like me. <laughs> Wait, Wait, back up. What? <laughs> what? Am I missing something? Oh my god, that's really fucking weird. Um, a monkey portrait. That's supposed to what? look like her? Yeah. Wait. She got a monkey portrait instead of the fuzzy bag? And it was just on his phone. It wasn't <laughs> what? Like she he showed her his phone. And like this is your gift. And told her it's a monkey portrait. I'm confused <laughs> about what is happening here. He said, Well, it says Dave, he handed me his phone. I looked and thought I was going to see a tracking packet or tracking number. Instead, all I saw was an art picture of a monkey that was supposed to look like me. Okay. So she's And then he goes <sighs> she goes, I asked him what this was and he said that was my gift. But then he started explaining to me how he had gotten into investing earlier this year and had saved up to buy it oh, for me. Oh, is it an NFT? I think so, maybe. Which I still don't fucking understand what the hell that is. Yeah. Yeah, I, I barely. What does it stand for? Non-fungible token? Yeah. Something like that? Yeah. yeah. I don't know if that's what sense. this is. 
He then, oh, he then showed his family who were just as flabbergasted as, as I was. I asked him how much money did he invest, and he said eight grand. What the oh, fuck? Eight grand for the monkey, bro! I would have sold that hoe and bought the bag. Oh no! Oh god! Oh, no. Damn. It gets worse. It gets worse. Oh god! Okay, okay. now what? Everyone started laughing, which made Dave mad and made me more embarrassed. One of his brothers even brought up the point about how it was poor taste to give a monkey picture. This is so wrong to your black fiance. <gasps> oh my god. Whoa. Oh god. No, no, no. Bro. Dave. Big Eight mistake. Dave. Dave. That is very oh. So okay. wait, <laughs> one of the family members wow, pointed that out. Yeah. Way worse. Oh my god, that's her oh. family? No, hit like because he family? they were with his family. Oh my god, uh, Dave! What the fuck? Why would he? That's the, so awkward. That's terrible. Okay, wait. How? How okay, does that so end? It says, Dave asked me if I was going to defend him, and at this point, I was so humili- humiliated that I just got got up and locked myself in the bathroom for a good cry. Aww. An hour later, I called an Uber and booked myself a hotel until I could make it back home. <gasps> Oh, no, that's sad. I know. Dave called me and said I was the asshole for bringing down the mood in his family's house and for being materialistic. I told him that all I wanted was a $200 bag and he spent eight grand on a monkey picture. <laughs> oh, my God, oh, Dave, you fucking idiot. Boy. Dave's oh, a dumbass. No, 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 uh, no. He told me that he was investing in our future together and that I just couldn't see his vision. I'll admit that there were better ways I could have gone about reacting to the gift and I do feel guilty about totally running off like that without any warning but i was com- i was completely uncomfortable with the situation oh my God. and i didn't feel like staying around to be laughed at so am oh, i the asshole here that's sad i feel bad for this person oh, damn yeah, that's just like no no you're God, not yeah. the asshole dave you're an idiot i'd say dave is more of just an idiot yeah, yeah. oh my god dave what but the fuck possibly an asshole i yeah. don't know i mean who knows what his intentions were yeah i mean assuming that he didn't he didn't like make the connection connection yeah Oh my How would god! You not? Just like, is he is either clueless or he's an asshole? Yeah. Oh wow, that's so awkward. Oh my god! Imagine being in that situation. Ugh. How annoying that he like asked her what she wants and, and made such a big deal of it. Yeah. yeah, she tells him exactly, and he goes and gets nothing. Yeah, he yeah. already had that. Yeah, he already bought the NFT or was saving for it. Why would you even ask her then? It'd be different if he couldn't afford what she asked for, and so he bought her something alternatively. Well, yeah. But to go and spend. 10 times more yeah. to get. Yeah, it sounds like an NFT. That is, ooh. That's wild. I don't know. Oh my God, I feel so bad for her. Yeah, that sounds just like a situ- shitty situation. Especially when then his family's like make, like pointing out like, yeah. oh, monkey. like Oh God. Oh my God, that is horrible. That is. I feel like it would be so hard to just even, like say you didn't want to react to it, but you're making your face. Like how would you not have your face? Yeah, yeah, like have it like, being yeah. shown well, all over your face. Oh yeah, oh, oh, bad. Dave, come on, bro. It's not that complicated. You fucked up, Dave. You fucked up. Yeah. Hopefully, she still marries you. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, she was pissed. She booked a hotel. Yeah. I don't I, blame I don't her. Know. I wouldn't want to be with his family for the rest of the time either. I would feel so awkward. Yeah. Yeah, that's super uncomfortable. I want to know if she ever got the fuzzy bag. True. I know. I wonder what bag she's talking about. Hmm. Mmm, the frosting actually tastes kind of good. I'm almost done with my guy here. Same. Wow, we're making amazing timing. Wow, look at us. This used to take like three hours. <laughs> I know. That's good. We don't need to be spending all day making fucking gingerbread houses. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I've got other shit I gotta get done. I know. Well, now that I have a kid, I don't have as much time to waste. True. There's like a fire lit under my ass at all times. True. <laughs> I think we had drinks that last time too. So oh, that definitely slowed. You know, I was them. thinking about offering that this time. Like maybe we should do some holiday shots or something. Like and little Bailey. I thought about that and was like, you know what? That's a terrible idea. Yeah. Or yeah. is it a great idea? It could have been great, <laughs> but I think most likely it would have been terrible. Well, it's just hard because this is like the middle of the day. It's like, yeah, what time is it? Exactly. Two. Yeah, so yeah. how the fuck? I have to go home and take care of my kid the rest of the yeah. day. I can't be like sloshed from the sesh. I'm like, Jared, can you come pick me up yeah, from work? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, like, how would I get home? <laughs> I don't know about you, but every time I go to a new restaurant, I always look at the reviews before I even decide to go. I like to look at the menu to see what I'm going to pick out. 
and I always want to make sure that people have good experiences there. So why would it be any different when it comes to doctors? With ZocDoc, you can see real, verified patient reviews to help find the right doctor in your network and in your neighborhood. After all, finding the right doctor is just as, if not more, important than finding the right plate of eggs benedict. ZocDoc is a free app that shows you doctors who are patient-reviewed, take your insurance, and are available when you need them. And on ZocDoc, you can find every specialist under the sun. Whether you're trying to straighten your teeth, fix an achy back, get a mold checked out, or anything else, ZocDoc has you covered. And they have a mobile app which makes it super easy to find and book a doctor with a few taps. You can read verified patient reviews from real people who made real appointments. And then when you walk into the doctor's office, you're all set to see someone in your network who gets you. Every month, millions of people are using ZocDoc and I am one of them. It's my go-to whenever I need to find and book a quality doctor. That is so important to me. Having a good relationship with my doctor, someone who actually listens to me and wants to help me is extremely important. And ZocDoc has made that really easy to do. Go to ZocDoc.com sesh and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then start your search for a top rated doctor today. Many are available within 24 hours. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash sesh. ZocDoc dot com slash sesh. Am I the asshole for telling my sister that if she's not going to get me something off my Christmas slash birthday list to not get me anything at all? <laughs> wow. She that's... actually makes the Christmas and birthday <laughs> list. That's interesting. Is oh, she an adult? I know people who do that as adults. Oh There's God. this TikTok of this um, teenager doing a... PowerPoint presentation with her gifts and links to. Oh, oh I, I saw. That. That I saw so a funny. boy doing that. Oh, really? That's funny. Um, that is hilarious. I mean, I did that one time when I wanted a dog. I made my parents a little <gasps> PowerPoint did thing, it work? and I used a karaoke machine to like talk about <laughs> all the things I would do for the dog. Did it work? Yep, we got a dog. That's how we got Chance. Damn, yes, so lucky. I did that with. To try and get a guinea pig. My dad never budged. I wanted a guinea pig so bad for years. I wanted oh, this damn no. guinea pig. I, d I was trying to scheme him so hard. I would do anything for the guinea pig. He didn't fall for my <laughs> bullshit not even once. <laughs> and then as I Did got you try to argue like Kendall has a guinea pig? Yeah. Oh, that was my main argument. <laughs> oh, and you was had like, one? I don't give a fuck yeah. that Kendall has a guinea pig. You're not getting one. <laughs> and then a, a long time ago, he told me he was like, I almost caved in. He's like, I'm so proud of myself that I didn't fuck the guinea pig. I was like, damn. <laughs> Like, oh, God. that's going to be my weakness when Holly asks for little pets. Because be I like, love yes. little pets. I'd be like, yeah, sure. Let's go get little a guinea pig. Seriously. I love though. guinea's. They're so cute. They're so cute. Oh, my God. What was your guinea pig's name? I had two. One was named Chocolate Chip and one was named Butter. Oh, did they get along? No. I, well, Chocolate Chip died before Butter. Oh. Butter was a replacement <laughs> for oh. Chocolate Chip. <laughs> Poor Butter, bro. How do you think about oh, the name Butter? Well, his name was actually Almond Butter. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> <Yeah>. Almond? <laughs> I my mom came Almond up butter with it. was back then. My mom came up. My mom told me because oh. I was like going back and forth between the names like Almond and something else. And she's like, how about Almond Butter? Butter for <laughs> short. And of course, I was like, oh, I like that. Butter. Yep. Cute. Yeah, I'm jealous. You guys had cool pets. Well, mostly just your guinea pigs. Yeah. Yeah, Janelle, would you go over there and play with the guinea pigs? I loved the guinea pigs. I wanted one. So, you don't understand, Sydney. Like, I lost <laughs> yeah. sleep over wanting this <laughs> oh, damn guinea no. pig. I fucking wanted one so, for oh, years. Oh, my gosh. I wanted one so bad. God. I had a turtle, though. Yeah, your turtle was cool. That was cool. He yeah. was a cool guy. This is very okay. hard. So do you guys remember the question? Yeah. Okay. Am I an asshole oh, right. for telling my sister to not get me anything <laughs> unless it's off my Christmas birthday list? Yes. <laughs> All right. Let's hear um, it. Um... Hmm. No, I guess not. Wait, you, I have Wait, to read it. Just <laughs> oh, <laughs> just the title. I thought that was the whole thing. Am I the asshole for <laughs> this? Oh. Sorry. Okay, go ahead, Sid. Okay. One of the siblings said she wasn't spending a lot on gifts this year because she splurged to take her son to Disneyland. That's fine. I don't give two fucks about not getting a gift. I've spent several holidays abroad where obviously I didn't give or receive gifts on holidays or birthdays. Historically, when my sister has been pretty broke, she will buy little gifts for people from the dollar store. Mm. Usually the gifts are useless junk that I don't <laughs> want, need, or oh my God, sassy. have a use for. Damn, okay. For example, one year she got me these sparkly animal trading cards like action figure thingies, a little Hispanic Lego man with a sombrero. Okay. She and my other older sister are half Mexican and find little things like this to be charming. Hmm. And this unicorn drinking cup. 
All of those items, except the cup, which I still use, kind of sat around in boxes until an acceptable amount of time passed and they got thrown out during a deep clean. Hmm. I am not a person who likes stuff that just sits around my house with no purpose. I'll hang cool art, but that's mostly it. I would say my sister has given me gifts like this four or five times in the past. Anyway, I told my sister that if she was unable to get get something cheap off my provided Christmas gift list, then I don't want anything at all. She asked me why, and I told her that I appreciate the effort she makes to give gifts, even when she doesn't have a lot of money, but I'm not the type of person who likes cute little things that serve no purpose, and they would likely get thrown away eventually, so it's better for her not to waste the money. She said I was being a shitty asshole and to get over myself. (laughs) (laughs) Shitty asshole. I just, like, peed a little almost. (laughs) Jesus, Lord. That was really funny. A shitty asshole. (laughs) <laughs> Why are you giving me your balls? Because I wanted you to have some gold balls. Oh, thank for your you. That's really nice. <laughs> I'm trying to share. <laughs> I don't need any more. Okay. Yep. Um. Actually, no. I don't think she's the asshole. I think she's being honest. Like she doesn't want dollar store Pokemon trading cards, <laughs> and because it would just get thrown out. So, and I don't think mm. she's being mean. Like I'll be pissed if you don't get me a gift. It sounds like she doesn't really. You know, it isn't expected necessarily. Could it be coming across to the sister like your gifts suck, so just don't get me anything? And it, do you ever want to tell someone that their gifts are bad because it's a gift? True. They didn't have to give it to you. That's true. I mean, it's I guess you're not. An, I guess you're not an asshole for like what the message you're trying to send. But I could see how it could come off as like assholey. Yeah, because I mean, it logically makes sense, right? You are probably going to just donate or throw out these items. Mm -hmm. But it's kind of like, maybe it is the thought that counts. True. Maybe maybe you'll want to hang on to some little thing that she gave you. And one day you can look back and laugh and be like, look at this thing you gave me. (laughs) I don't know. (laughs) True. I don't think. Honestly, good point. I feel like with gifting, you should never like tell someone how to gift to you. Does that make sense? Actually, yeah, I agree. It's just like. But sometimes. Like, what are your thoughts on if someone gets you something and it's like maybe something that you know you wouldn't use? Like, my parents, they'd be like, if you don't want this, it's totally fine. Like, you can tell me and we'll go exchange it. And, like, I would sometimes take them up on that because I would feel bad. I would almost feel worse, like, just lying and then, like, it's sitting in my closet or whatever. And I never use it. Well, I think it's situational, too. If your parents are getting you a variety of things and they want to spend their money on things you're actually going to use, then and and they tell you, right? you know, it's different with your child. But I think a sibling or a friend, um, when they're on a limited budget, I think it's kind of like almost gift shaming a little bit. Like, Mm. you know, at least she if she doesn't have a lot of money and she's still spending some of the money she has at the dollar store, even though you don't want the things, it's kind of just like... Just kind of shut up and take it. Kind of. Like... That's you know, what I kind of think. He's grateful the fact that she's even like thinking of you and like yeah. trying to put an effort. But at the same time, I do get where she's coming from of not wanting to be wasteful and she'll just throw this out or have no use for it or it's just ends up being junk in your house that you feel guilty if you get rid of. Mm-hmm. I get that, but I just kind of think that, yeah, with gifts, it's kind of like, mm, it's kind of how it goes sometimes. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, there's definitely things that, you know, I've been gifted that I've never used. Like, yeah, and then honest. sometimes you like hang on to it because you're like, I feel bad. Oh yeah, every wanna... time you see it, you're like, Yep. Well, yep. I feel like a dickhead, but still not gonna use it. <laughs> but sometimes I feel good because I'm like, at least I still have it. True. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I guess you're not an. You're kind of an asshole for straight up being like, don't get me anything. And I do think it's a little strange to make like lists as an adult. But that's probably an unpopular opinion that'll get me ripped up. That might up, be so. an unpopular opinion. You can make lists. And I'm sure there's plenty of reasons why people like need to make a list or mm-hmm. want to and whatever. But I like when people give me like sometimes I want like my sister. I'll say, can you give me like just yeah. a list of like top five things or something that you're yeah. wanting? Because, yeah, but I don't really I don't offer up my list. To people. I'm not like, oh, do you need what? My Christmas Here's list. my Christmas list. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like, mailing it out. Yeah, <laughs> along with your Christmas card or something. You just oh attach your gift list. Yeah, I did the same thing with my sister this year. I asked her already what she wanted because I want to get her something that she can actually use instead of just trying to guess. Right. Yeah. What do you want for Christmas? Yeah, do you make a... You don't tell Josh, like, little things you want? No. Josh, like, knows me so well. I'm not a, as good of a gifter as him, so I normally, like, end up feeling awkward on Christmas and he gets me good <laughs> gifts and I feel bad. <laughs> no, I feel like you've got him good gifts. Yeah, you get him sometimes. Good gifts. Sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes I just 
missed the mark. Do you ever just not get him anything? He's like hard to shop for. He's very particular about things. You very think? particular. And I always feel like I'm getting him something. He, like there's been so many times I've given him gifts where I can tell you he's like low-key like, key, like <laughs> thanks. Like he doesn't wear it or something. Yeah. Or he just doesn't seem that excited about it. Or he's like, oh, thanks, babe. Oh. Like I can tell when he's really yeah. excited about something. Sure. Or not. So, yeah, I've always had trouble shopping for him. He's hard to shop for. What would you like for Christmas from me, Kendall? Let me do our exchange. Um, Let's see. Give me an idea. Hmm. I want you to build me a birdhouse. <laughs> okay. What the fuck? I'm trying to think of some, some way we can okay. utilize these skills. Look at all this creativity here. Yeah, guys, look this at my freaking amazing. tree. Wow. Amazing. Mm, oh, look boy. at that. It looks good. Woo! I like her. Nice. It's like a stack of cookies. That's interesting. Yeah. Mm. Exactly what it is. I wonder I, if you put this out, if people would like try to grab at it, like they think it's a, you know, like an a pull apart. Yeah. Um, it doesn't look like it's meant to be eaten necessarily. Here is Farquad, the nutcracker. You never put yours together. You're just going to leave it like that? I think I might put them together now. Really? I was just kind of letting him dry up. I was going to say, mm. I think I'll let him stand. Okay. You don't think so? No, I think it would look good, but you honestly, like, I'm impressed as fuck with yours. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it looks like he's a little wiener, though. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> I thought if I put the, the balls there, it would kind of detract from that because it was like mm. hanging heavy, you know? Mm hmm. Mm. Made it worse. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we That's love him. That's very good. Far quad. He's good, right? He's a nice chap. Uh, he's, he's a nice looking guy. Good. He's a nice looking guy. Yeah, that's mm. right. That's right. It's far quad, right? I don't know. I I'm always say sure. far quad. Yeah, it's far Josh quad. is always like far quad. Yeah, I think it's far quad. What? It's far quad. It's far quad. <laughs> Wait, look Wait, it up. Shut up. Far, know. My far whole freaking life, we've always called him far, far quad. quad. Lord, Lord far, far quad. quad. Yeah, it's always quad. Oh. <laughs> Hat. Oh, so it, yeah, it's far quad. It's See, Josh the was D telling is, me it's far quad. Is the D silent? Far quad. Quad. Yeah. Lord far quad. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> far quad. <laughs> far quad. That's a funny name. Far quad. Dude, the Shrek movies, I was just thinking about last night as I was falling asleep. Like, how old will Holly be when I show her Shrek? She's how old can she, like, actually, actually care about it? Mm -hmm. Maybe, like, like, five. Yeah. Oh, that even seems young. Seven? Yeah. Five or seven. Dang, got a while to go. I know. I have to wait. You have red icing on your mouth and on your chin. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You get it? Um, <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh, it's like dried on there a little bit. Ooh. Oh, okay. A little snack. There you go. I like how they made it look like you could easily make these eyes like that. Um, No. <laughs> this is what his eyes are like. <laughs> you know, it'd be nice to get like a professional decorator on the Ooh, show. Oh, that could be amazing. And give us like a lesson to how to decorate Ooh, cakes. I'd be so down for that. Learning to do things. Learning, learning to, do. to do things. We make an entire <laughs> segment. series. Learning to do Janelle things. Janelle and Kendall learn to do things. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Tell me if you think this one sounds good. Okay. Am I the asshole for cooking low carb on the holidays? I, a 42-year-old female, am the family chef. My mother-in-law hates to cook, stay with my brother, brother-in-laws and their wives. Meanwhile, my family is gone. I was raised by a chef, oh, by a want-to-be chef who loved the holidays and always invited anyone who didn't have somewhere else to go to join our table. I keep this tradition going, have plenty of seats available, and all of my friends slash family love my cooking. Okay. I I also have chronic illness and a restricted diet. I have been cooking to my own needs for years. Sugars get swapped. Whatever rolls are made with almond flour, peanut butter cookies are 90% peanut butter, etc. Everyone who is a regular at my table also has medical needs that coordinate with my food needs, but aren't as diligent about it. For example, the diabetics don't have to worry as much since I don't use real sugar. Mm -hmm. I have a dozen people that are regulars at my holiday meals, all adults, and they all love my low-carb, sugar-free, well-seasoned food. Mm -hmm. um, I put the flavor where I can, and we don't miss out. Here's a question. I've invited some new stragglers this year, and when Strangle. one found out how I cook, they were terribly offended. Ugh, they are refusing offended. to come unless I make more conventional Shut recipes. <laughs> this, is, this, wow. this person is a new significant other of a longtime friend and has never eaten my food, but will not eat anything that's not standard old-style recipes. The same recipes that will that will make me quite ill and cause potential <laughs> medical issues for others as they have become used to letting their guard down with 
food at my house. Um, I want to I want to make nice with this person as they are connected to my friend who means a lot. But am I the asshole if I refuse? What the wow. fuck? No, you're not an asshole if you don't. It's your own house. How embarrassing. That's so pathetic. That's so, your first impression. I don't think they clarified whether this is a male or a female that threw the fit about coming no. over. It was just the partner of a, of a friend, a yeah. new partner. Yeah. How embarrassing I know. <laughs> for you. You're trying to win over their friends and family and you're going to throw a fit about... F- Oh, like, dude, I'm who, cringing for you. That's so sad for your soul. God. That this person's been cooking this way forever. And people, you know, she was, or I don't know if it was a girl. This person was like yeah. talking about how they, you know, do everything they can to make sure that it still tastes good. And like people don't miss out on it. And also she's not the only one with dietary restrictions. Yeah. And then this rando straggler comes along and is like, pissed. you need to make all these things <laughs> or I refuse to come. Okay, you. Shut the there'd be fuck so many up. other options before forcing them to cook you a whole separate meal. Bring something yeah. else. Bring something else. Eat something before you come. Eat something after. Eat something you after. Go. Yeah, there's so many other oh ways you could go about that. Oh my god, that is ridiculous. That is. That's just embarrassing Shut for that person. Shut up. I would I be embarrassed to be their partner. Yeah, so embarrassed. I'd be like, oh yeah, I'm bringing my new girl over, but. Yeah, if John was like, meh, if you don't cook with real butter, I don't want to go. I'd be like, bitch, you need to get it together. That's <gasps> horrible. Yeah, uh, that's that's just that's so very cringe. Pathetic. God, people are freaks, man, out there. Why do you care that much? Yeah, don't make, God. Why I can't is, imagine going through life making such a big deal about stupid things. Yeah. Stupid let ass. it go. Let just, it go. Yeah, swing through Taco Bell. That's Before what I'm you saying. go, you'll be fine. Or just be like, oh, I, I wanted to bring my own dish. Yeah. Yeah, I brought my own whatever, and it's full of sugar and sugar fat. Sugar and fat, yeah. <laughs> so. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my, oh my god. god that is so dramatic is like you need scary. to make more traditional recipes or else oh I'm my god my tradition isn't met i feel sad that's so ridiculous shut, the shut hell up. up oh wow yours is looking good oh is it? yeah stick i mean i don't oh, know you're holding it never mind i thought yeah, it was standing up I'm gonna <laughs> say it. it's, uh, it's not looking that good hell i don't yeah. know how you really get it to to work you gotta hold it for like i feel like what would be an hour I'm not, not gonna sit here and hold this yep. guy's cookie. You are no, absolutely not. Sure are. All right. Sure are. Okay. I'm sure. Are. I got another one. So some background context on this. Okay. It says for every holiday, this mom would ask the women in the family, so this person's sister, sister-in-law, my wife, my female cousins, to send samples of the desserts they plan to bring to the celebration. The females only bring the desserts. <laughs> nice. Love that. And wait, to send samples? <laughs> yeah, before. So, wait, okay. What? <laughs> send samples? Yeah, to the mom. Like, <laughs> to, so she could um, shut plan, up. Approve or deny? Yeah. So she have to make a whole batch of them in advance, and She's she may like, or may not allow Stephanie's them in her house. Stephanie's cookies are fine, but Julia's brownies taste like asshole. <laughs> oh, my God. That is so bad. <laughs> Stop it. And you can't this bring them. not real. Yeah. And so she says, what? for testing to see if these desserts can make it to the food menu. The Sh- menu? <laughs> oh, my God. Stop it. Shut up. Shut uh, up. My wife has been complaining about my mom our mother deliberately rejecting every dessert sample she sent. So many times my mother has told her that she's being honest and keeping the guest's best interests at heart. <laughs> Yet my wife still thought that my mother was deliberately excluding her since two of her dessert samples were rejected before. What? That oh is so rude. <laughs> That's a joke. The mom is an asshole 1000% <laughs> yeah. case closed. Is that the main question? I know you haven't even read like the main part, right? Oh, this one. The question is: Am I the asshole for calling my wife unreasonable for backing out of spending Christmas with my family after my mother rejected her cookie sample? <laughs> so, no, your mama is an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> your mama is an asshole, <laughs> dude. So shut bad. up. Okay, let me tell you the story. Rejected it. Yeah. Wait, we have to hear the story first. Okay. Okay, go. For this year's Christmas, my mother is doing the same thing, but this time she told every woman <laughs> who is participating to make a cookie sample and send it to her for testing. My oh wife my took <laughs> shut, shut to the lab. <laughs> That's unreal. <laughs> oh my, gosh. my wife took it as a challenge, and to be honest, she worked really hard to make a good sample and sent it to my mother <laughs> days ago, and the results just came in yesterday. <laughs> 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 results. <Just> throw up. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. I came home from work and found my wife upset. I asked what's wrong. She told me that my mother rejected the sample. 
She's... <laughs> That's Thank unbelievable. You, you know um, she sent and decided to exclude her baking from the food list slash menu for the for Christmas this year. Then she told me she was backing out of the invitation to attend Christmas with my family. I was stunned when I heard her make this statement. I tried to talk to her, but she said it was done. I called her unreasonable to decide to bail on the whole family after some cookie sample. That's just freaking crazy and quite unreasonable. Sounds we, like you don't know how to stand up to your mom. Yeah, you little bitch. <laughs> we, had, we had a full on argument about it. And she stated that my mother caused this. But I told her that my mother is pretty serious and careful about the food she offers to the guests. <laughs> serious we are and careful. Shut up. <laughs> Since we are going to have relatives coming from all sides of the country, she told me to stop mentioning it. Um, later, I heard her cry despite telling her that her baking is amazing and people have preferences. That's all. Am I the asshole for insisting that her decision was unreasonable? Wait, yes. Shut up. Yes, you were the asshole. Stand up for your wife and her cookies. Are you fucking kidding me? That <laughs> There's is so like bad. so many levels to this story that yeah. don't make any sense. First off, your mom is fucking crazy. 1,000. What the hell? Absolutely the Samples not. to the results? I know, and she gives her the results. <laughs> the results will be back in she two like, to four business an days. She envelope, pulls out the thing, denied. <laughs> <laughs> the sample was rejected. Oh, God. Please try. We regret to inform you that your sample was a college fucking How admission. How many people are coming to this Christmas dinner? How is it that big of a deal that right. she has to prove every morsel of food that comes through Plus, her door? Okay, do people not Fringe. understand the fucking purpose of the holidays? It's not to impress people with fucking cookie yes. samples. It's to get together with your family and make memories. That's exactly right. Like, it's right. so weird to me. Who cares if the food ends up sucking, which it probably wouldn't, even if everyone brought samples of cookies. <laughs> but even if one cookie is bad, like, who cares? fucking care yeah right. like and also the it. layer of this that it's the only the women that get asked right? to bring a sample what the fuck is this? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> this is unbelievable <laughs> this is like this can't even someone's gonna have to be pranking like there's no way this is real apparently I think there's probably some people out there that have like up the ass like what? christmas you know like you gotta get dressed to the nines right oh that sounds terrible dude could you imagine we go to sample. my dad's house? My stepmom Roberta's like, okay, folks. <laughs> oh my god. Submit your sample for the cookies. That's so insane. Oh my gosh. I can't even imagine like telling like Josh's aunts all make these amazing cookies. I can't imagine being like, all right, we'll see which one of your cookies <laughs> makes my cut this year. You can send in your samples if you would like to bring them in my home and I'll oh approve or deny. Oh my god, that is that wild. almost sounds like fake. That's how That's is what I'm that saying. real? There's no way. That that's really what's going on. And and yes, the husband is an asshole for not supporting his wife. If she says, percent. I don't want to go because this is offensive and it's, your mom's being ridiculous. Yeah. I got, we got to teach her a lesson. We can't just like conform to this that's bullshit. so ridiculous. If I were her though and you decide to go anyway, I would just bring my cookies anyway. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. You should just bring And then watch her just like, <laughs> like unravel when she sees go them. These to the back of the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, she's like, oh my God, are those the ones that didn't pass the test? <laughs> They're here in the flesh. Yeah, what is she gonna do? Make a scene? Mm -hmm. Probably. Honestly, that would make it fun. sounds like she's pretty up the ass. That's what she should do. Bring them anyway, and bring like a ton and gift backs, gift, gift boxes ba for everyone. Yes, and then give one to her that has yeah. like extra mm -hmm. instead of sugar has salt in it or something. Tastes yeah. terrible. Very good. Ugh. Damn. What a crazy bitch. Sorry, not gonna lie. Some of these Christmas hosts are wild. Like demanding what? everyone. Just like, I'm so glad my family don't like this. I can't, I literally cannot imagine. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> it's so <laughs> stupid. Cookie samples. Wow. Like, what if one of the men wanted to make a cookie? Yeah. Men don't cook, Sydney. And men Especially do not bake. bake. They don't bake. They don't Only make women cookies. Bake. <laughs> That's for girls only. Am I the asshole for trying to alter the dress code at my in-laws Christmas and saying I would show up in sweats? Hmm. I have a bit of a complicated relationship with my husband's family. Mother-in-law claims she likes me, but I don't think she does. She also claims she loves and adores her grandchildren, but will do pretty much anything to avoid spending time with them. Ooh. As a result, the relationship is pretty strained and we only see her for the for holidays and the occasional family dinner. I don't really like doing holidays at mother-in-law's house because it's so formal. Everyone's dressed super nice, hair and makeup is perfect. Mother-in-law pretty much lives for the stuff. Despite the annoying dress code, my husband gets to, my husband gets to see his siblings, my kids get to see their cousins and mother-in-law mostly ignores us anyway. Damn, spicy. This year is our year to spend Christmas with the in-laws and I have been getting annoyed about the clothing aspect for months. 
It just seems so silly to me and almost like a weird competition between the woman and the family. I broached the topic to the mother-in-law or to mother-in-law and she said, holidays are supposed to be special and my generation is so lazy. (laughs) (laughs) That annoyed me. So I talked to some of the younger women who also have small kids. One sister-in-law and I, sister-in-law said I was ruining Christmas. One kind of agreed, but said it wasn't worth the fight with her mom. A mother-in-law called me recently and demanded to know why I was talking behind her back to her guests. Oh, to her I, guests. Yeah, I explained. Disrespect. Disrespect. I explained I was trying, I was just trying to see how people felt about it because to me, the formal attire is just another layer of stress and it is spiraling into some sad beauty pageant. <laughs> I've heard a mother-in-law make comments about how she, oh, about how she has to look perfect because some, uh, look perfect because so and so is coming. Oh, okay. oh got it. Mother-in-law said it was tacky of me to ask around and I need to stop trying to change their family and I'm so rude and entitled for thinking I get to make changes when I just married in. Ooh. Damn. Mm. Um, this pissed me off and I said she can and I said she can wear whatever but I will be coming in sweats and my kids will be in play clothes. My mother-in-law actually laughed and said that would be my problem not hers. My husband says if I do it I will embarrass him because I will embarrass him though. I'm seriously thinking of doing it. And mother in law is still pissy that I talked to a guest behind her back. Ooh, sassy. Shit. Mm. I want to know how formal mm. she wants them to be. Like, I mean, is are this they black like getting tie? debutante over here? <laughs> debutante. Did you ever do debutante? Wait, is debutante the same thing that Did you like- do debutante? <laughs> <laughs> is, what's the freaking. You always ask class. me this. Cotillion. Cotillion. You, you did do Cotillion, right? Yeah, like a little four-week class of Hell Cotillion yeah, at Cotillion. the local church. Hell yeah. I did. Wait, yeah. what is the debutante? Oh, that's in that's high a, school. That's a serious thing. It's you like do like years of lot. training for that, I believe. Right. Yeah, I just so, took like a tiny class with some other neighbors. I yeah, so is this too. debutante too, yeah. or is it freaking like, you know, maybe not wear sweats, but dress up a little. Yeah. Like a nice little... Yeah, Christmas dress or some shit. I don't yeah, know. I kind of feel like if it's not your house and you're not hosting, that you should probably just do what they ask you to do. Yeah, like you don't have to go all out with it. Maybe, maybe just get a really comfortable dress. But I don't know what she's requiring. I wish we had more information about like how extreme the dress well, code was. She makes it seem like it's pretty intense because she's saying how there is a it's like a competition now between the women of who can look the best. But why that don't you just annoying. not participate in this quote unquote competition? Yeah, like ignore who cares? them, whatever. Yeah, and just wear something that you think is cute but still comfortable and you know, maybe that you already have. You don't have to go out and buy a new outfit. Yeah. And then call it a day. Yeah, I feel like you could if you really wanted to just wear sweats or wear whatever you I feel want. Like it's a little rude though. It is a little rude. Like it's but a little it's rude. like you could do that. Of course you could. Totally. Um, but yeah, you could be a better sport right. and try to like join what the family's doing. You know, when you do come into a new family, you want to like kind of respect what they got going on. Mm-hmm. But yeah, mm-hmm. I feel like there's not enough information about what exactly sh- they're yeah. being asked what to the wear. Like, how fancy is this? Mm-hmm. Is there a dress code? Yeah. Because is it really like men in suits? And... Right. Which if it is, damn, that sucks. Yeah. That'd I definitely don't have like that in our family. No, we wear Mm-mm. fucking like pajamas and oh yeah, and some random Eve. shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Onesies, mm-hmm. pajamas. This year's theme is Let's get lit. So something that lights up. Oh, or that's light related. the theme. Yeah, I didn't know. I just thought it was Christmas lights. No, she said on the little on the group chat. She said it's it's Let's lit. lit. Or, it's lit or something. Let's get lit. Ooh, I like that. Let's get lit, baby. That's why I got these. That's why right. I got the Christmas lights. Oh, those are really cute. I yeah. love them. So you know, I guess to you, every family's different, mm-hmm. and they want to dress up. I don't really think. I don't know. I think she's making it too big of a deal, kind of. I don't know. I don't think we have enough info to really make a judgment here. Mm -mm. Kind of tough. I don't feel confident. No confidence. Yeah. Yeah, No no confidence for sure. All right. Are you done? Yeah. um, Looks like he's in a little coffin now. Yeah. I was going to say he looks. I'm letting him dry. I thought maybe after the next Am I the Asshole, I would stand him up. Okay. Good job. Let's do one more. Yeah. Let's do one more here. Am I the asshole for giving my mother-in-law a fake copy of my house key? And exposing her on Christmas dinner. Oh, <laughs> fake okay. coffee. Oh, <laughs> like oh a fake. boy. This one sounds juicy. Um, okay, I want to preface this by saying that I am a female, 34 years old. My husband is 37 years old. His mom is snoopy and annoying. 
AF. Snooty? Snoopy. Snoopy. Okay, I never like heard someone... she snoops. Oh, Snoop. Got it, got it, got it. An annoying <laughs> AF. God, I'm yeah. like, damn. <laughs> she can't help it that this is just how she is, as my dear in-laws say. Okay. Um, my husband and I purchased a new house recently. My mother-in-law kept pushing to get an emergency key. She promised that she only would use in the sense of an emergency, but given the fact that she had an emergency key to our old apartment and walked in on us being intimate twice. <laughs> <laughs> what but, the fuck is wrong with people? I don't know. My, my husband didn't think it was a big deal. I just couldn't trust her. Ooh. So I sent her a fake key after she kept pushing. And she had a smug on her face after I hand delivered it, delivered it to her. Days okay. gone, days have gone by, and on Christmas dinner, mother in law angrily called me out on the fact that I gave her a fake copy of the house key. She shamed me for doing this in front of everyone, but in my defense, I asked her how she found out, and she said days ago when she came over at four while my husband and I were out, I reminded her, in quotes, "Didn't you promise you wouldn't use it unless there's an emergency?" So you tried to get in when there was no emergency and you broke that promise you made to us. Oh. Yeah. The hell. He revoked. Um, she looked red in the face and the other family started staring and some even laughed at her for the face she made. <laughs> she suddenly got up from her seat and rushed into the kitchen where she had a huge meltdown so loud the next door oh. neighbors must have heard. Oh my God. I've never heard a 60 year old woman throw a tantrum like that. What the fuck? Needless to say, dinner went awkward and my husband and his sister were giving me looks. My husband went off on me in the car and said I lied and manipulated and humiliated and exposed his mom and said he wouldn't have let me get away with it if he'd known. We had an argument and he is demanding I apologize to his mom for my childish behavior and for ruining Christmas dinner for the whole family. Oh my God. No, your mother-in-law is an asshole for trying to come into your house. Yeah, 1,000%. That is awful. That is so obnoxious. I would feel really weird if I knew my mother-in-law could just bust in at any time. Like, I yeah. guess I get, like, leaving a key in a certain yeah. spot on your property for, like, emergencies mm -hmm. or, like, yeah, leaving with someone with a key or something. Especially or if, you tr if you really trust, trust that that them. person's only going to use it in emergencies. Yeah. Like, I know... If I were to give my dad a spare key to our he house, he would just never just in. show up and yeah. snoop or anything. Right. Like it would be for emergencies only. But yeah. yeah, I would not want to give it to someone who's walked in on me being intimate Before. twice. And then you give her a fake key and she gets mad and has a meltdown, bitch. Fucking grow up. Absolutely not. What is wrong with all these mother in laws? Yeah. God, it's like and it's the men that can't stand up to them. Right. Like they're they're just saying, Oh no, it's fine. Oh, I'm weak. being too hard on her. Weak, like mm -mm, weak, mm -mm, weak. Mm -mm, mm -mm. She showed up while you guys were having sex twice. 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 That's almost yeah. like weirdly timed. Like, do you got cameras in here too? Yeah, seriously. That's Have you creepy. like memorized their schedule when they do it? I'd be so mad. Fucking I can't even freak. imagine that happening. Well, and the fact that she goes and tries to use it after she promised she wouldn't. Yeah. And you then, got called out. And yeah. then you're trying to be like, oh, they gave me a fake. Let me throw her under the bus. Uh, bitch, too late. You got caught snooping. Bam. That I say the mom's the ship. asshole, 100%. Mom's the asshole. And your husband, boyfriend, whatever, is a wiener to not yeah, be wiener. like, mom, what the fuck? Yes, definitely okay. gets the wiener title. Wiener title of the day. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that. What do you guys feel bad? Like, do, I don't know. Like, I would be so nervous, like, going to someone's house and when they don't know and they're yeah, not there. Yeah. Like, I would be so stressed. I would and never go to again, someone's house when they don't know. That's so weird. Get a life. Yeah. Like, what, what is doing? going on Dude, with these all these people? people need to get lives. Yeah. The holidays uh, brings out the worst in people. I yeah. swear to God. It really does. Mm -hmm. Like, I think the worst is the cookie sample situation. That <laughs> yeah, is absolutely horrific. That's hilarious. <laughs> I can't even believe that they had to submit trials. <laughs> oh my god wow incredible uh, i want to know your guys is the worst holiday stories or most yes. awkward or cringy like I definitely give us want the to. tea on your family mm -hmm. maybe we'll do another episode reacting to those to the tea if you guys want family. another holiday episode this year because i know we're doing this really early yeah. we just wanted to kick start it because we it's just December first. to do it to be real we needed some holiday cheer so we True just decided to that. get into the spirit a little early yeah um, but yeah, it is December 1st once this goes up. Woo, so woo. I say it's officially acceptable oh, to celebrate. I've been celebrating since Halloween ended. Yeah, you you get really into Christmas. Are you getting a tree soon? What's the deal with that? I, Janelle's like the tree master. Yes, I am. I'm the tree master. I, I need some tips from you. went last Friday and picked it out. And then I wait to pick it up until the following weekend because it stays cold. 
trees will stay better and if yes. they're cold. So, okay. but I, but the inventory goes down a lot. So if I waited till next wi- next weekend, their inventory will be down. Oh, so I won't okay. get to pick. So I got great inventory, but we'll be picking it up next weekend. Interesting. So what day is that? Like December, like this coming weekend? Yeah. So, so like December 6th, 2nd or 3rd. If this goes up on the 1st, that's a Thursday. So I'll yeah. be, yeah, 2nd or 3rd. Nice. Okay. <sighs> Okay. Yes, I'm all about the real tree. Okay. Mm-hmm, People, mm-hmm. the Fraser firs. Okay. Is that the Seven one? Seven to eight foot Fraser firs. Okay. And they, those are the ones that smell the best? I believe so. They leave off a strong scent and they're underneath part of their needles are like more of this icy blue color. So mm. you get like a two tone vibe. Oh, I'd always noticed that at your dad's house. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Your dad always had a nice Christmas mm-hmm. tree. That's how I learned from him. We grew up with real trees. I'll never get a fake tree ever. <laughs> And you know what's so sad? She's above it, John, ladies and gentlemen. John is allergic to Christmas trees, but I need help with it. So he has to completely Stop. bundle up. He wears like a jacket and like full a so on an inch of skin is showing so that he can help me carry it in. What a good sport and help me set it up because that's how much it means to me. I didn't know he was allergic. So does he have allergies throughout the season to it when not, he sits near it? No, or? not too bad. Like as long as he's not touched. But it, <laughs> when he, when he's he, surviving. <laughs> When he decorates the tree, though, he like when he puts an ornament on, he like tries really hard not to touch the needle. It's not like anything horrible will happen, but he'll like break out into hives if he like touches oh it too God. much. Like he was there with me when we were picking it out on Friday, and obviously it's a fucking warehouse full of trees. So he was like, "Well, this doesn't feel good." And he was like, kind of sneezing a little, and then wouldn't touch any. Um, oh no! But he's a really good fiance to do that for me. He is because I sport. really love my real trees, and yeah, yeah. He's got to suck it up. I haven't had a real tree in so long. Oh, I'm so excited to dude. get one this year. There's just something about it. Mm, mm-hmm. It's just so magical. And everyone's everyone is a little bit different each year. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a pain in the ass because there's got to water it. And then when you take Getting it down, it out. it's, it's yeah. a little pain in the ass and needles go everywhere. But yeah, because it's so dried out and taking all the ornaments off and yeah. lights. Yeah, it's so hard. It's fucking pain in the ass. Not going to lie. But mm-hmm. worth it. Totally worth it. And I love the smell of it. And mm. yeah. Yeah. That's it. I, I'm excited to actually get a tree this year and enjoy the smell because mm-hmm. the, the, you know, tree scented candles just oh. don't cut it. No, they, they don't, just don't cut, cut it. it. Not enough. No, they really don't. Well, look at my guy. He's standing up. I know. It looks so good. Here he is. I know. Look at us Honestly, this year. Like, really impressed. Pretty we good. stepped it up. We did. Honestly, we might have a new knack for this. Wait, he started to like. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Homie, you need to stay have up. Have you seen the fucking TikToks that are like, Pop your pussy at Old Navy. Yeah, this yeah. Year. yeah. <laughs> yes. <What>? Amazing. <laughs> yeah, I've sent it to the group chat and Curly has. Really? Yes. yes. I've not seen it. Oh, okay, it's so look. funny. They're all they're like, it's like pop, pop your, your pussy, pussy at and Old shake Navy. your ass yeah, at like Old, Old Navy. Navy. <laughs> or like Coles so or something. Funny. Yeah. So we really yeah, popped our pussy today, folks. Mm-hmm, Wait, did. your guys oh, like Oh no. Oh no, just when we spoke. Okay. Just he needs to just drop Dude. Put him face down. I'll like lay okay. him down a bit and let him dry, dry for like an hour. So okay. tomorrow he'll be good to go. I'll add some extra glue to him. But yeah, we want to know which one do you think is better? We do this yeah. every year. We do a little poll on our Twitter. And so this is head actually on over. a good poll, I think. Yeah, for... I don't know who I think you did an amazing job. I'm Thank very you. happy. Thank... Other than <laughs> <laughs> you know, the white. Yes. Mm-hmm. It just looks like a little something else, but mm-hmm, it still mm-hmm. looks really good. I think it's really unique and cool. I love really that it spins. Unique and cool. It spins. It lights up. It's definitely up for... It's a contestant here, yeah, for real. Yeah, and then, yeah, yeah, my guy's actually Yours pretty good. Laura Farquaad's looking really good. I love his balls. He, yeah. <laughs> He's balled out. Well, one um, of his balls just fell off his hat and rolled to the next line, but that's okay. We'll put it back. Yeah, it's fine. That's a little DIY can't fix. Oh, yeah, he's, good. This, he's good. He's good. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. Pretty mm-hmm. good. So, there. yeah, folks, let us know. Go on um, Twitter. That's where we hold our little poll. Yep. Uh, follow us at the underscore the Twitch, which is podcast. still still functioning at this Twitter point. is still functioning, folks. Is it on fire? Probably. No, I don't know. Think Seems like it's calmed down. down. Has it? I don't know. Firemen have come. Firemen have come. I don't freaking know, bro. I know. I've kind of tuned out of the whole Twitter <sighs> drama. The oh, saga. and um, just to know, you guys were some of you were real salty about oh. Taylor Swift on the comments. Oh, oh no, yeah. were they? Someone even came for me in Twitter, like, <laughs> and my DMs. Like, people, some one person was, like, mad, yeah. which I said I'm really sorry I for. Sorry. <laughs> well, they're mad because they told me I was a John Mayer stan, which I'm not a John Mayer stan. I never said I was a John Mayer stan. 
and that her and like John Mayer have like a past and stuff. So yeah. But I was oh, like, so, just because oh, they thought that's why you didn't like Taylor because of John Mayer? I guess, or that like, I think oh. that, which I was like, let me clarify, I never thought that what Taylor went through with John Mayer, like she doesn't deserve that just because I'm not a fan of her doesn't mean I like wish poorly on her. So anyways, and you probably don't even know any of the details of that. Not really. Knowing you. And... But they were like, you should listen to the song if you knew anything about it. Like this song explains it. And I was like, dear again, John? I don't know anything about the song. Because Is it I don't Dear listen. John? Is that they told you? I don't know. I don't know, bro. Probably. <sighs> Oh, there I'm sorry for offending you guys. I saw that. <laughs> it's, like a, it? it's a oh, long yeah. song. On Twitter? You're no. not on Twitter. Oh, it was on the comments too? Yeah. Great. <laughs> okay. Oh, I only guys, saw it on the comments. Why, why are you mad? <laughs> Some people are... I knew it was coming. That's okay. And then people were mad because I was talking on my ass and being like, I have no good reason why I don't like her. <laughs> yeah, it didn't really come off. Well, why does that matter to you? Who cares? She's allowed to not like someone. No. Nope. I, I can think of people I just don't like because, nope. and I don't really have good reasons. Not allowed. So oh, I apologize. Hope you can still hmm. look past Maybe we that. should just have a whole episode of who we don't, we don't like. like for no reason. Ooh, fun. Oh, you have some really funny ones. <laughs> like what? I'm thinking of a, uh, you can never <laughs> tell them apart. Oh, <laughs> what's his name? The fedora guy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, who is that fucking guy? Oh man. Jason Mraz and, and, um, Jack, Johnson. and Jack Johnson. They're the same person. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like neither of them. <laughs> They're the same people. You don't like them? The fedora wear freaks. <laughs> <laughs> She's kidding. I'm joking. Well, I don't think it's artists like that that don't have the stands behind them that I think you can say things You're about it. And no one really no cares. cares. But if you like offend a Swifty, I mean, they're, the fan base thing is like pretty intense. Yeah. People, people go like hard. I think they think it's like they're like Taylor doesn't give a shit that you don't like her. Right. That's they what I'm saying. Like, yeah. You think Taylor gives you. a fuck that people don't like her? Who cares? She, she doesn't, doesn't give, give a, a fuck. damn. She's successful as fuck. Yeah. She's richer than I'll ever be in 10,000 lives. Like, mm -hmm. who gives a fuck? God, that's funny. Anyway, I didn't expect people to be that mad about Some it. Some people were mad. Some people were like, I love you still, Janelle. I'm a Swifty, but I'll, I was gonna I'll be say, okay. I did look at comments occasionally, and most of them that I saw were like, yeah. I agree with Janelle on I mean, Taylor. <laughs> yeah, actually, I appreciate that. Some people were like, I agree, Janelle. And I was like, okay, all right. See, guys Whatever. stick up for each other. Guys, life's too short. It's all a heap of living. La Did Grandy ever say that to you? No. That's heap what of Grandy would say. It's all a heap of living. What does that mean? I don't know. But heap my mom always would say it. And I think Grammy said it too. It's true. Life's too short to be worried about freaking cookie samples being submitted. That's and right. whether you're denied or not. Just bring the damn cookies anyway. <laughs> That's what I have to say about that. You should send her this. See if yeah, approve. bitch. You think that was bad? Mm -hmm. Look at this crap. Yeah. <laughs> would, she, would she allow this into her home? <laughs> Absolutely not. Could you imagine that? <laughs> oh my <sighs> god. All right, people. That's gonna be it for this week. Thank you for oh, hanging out with had, us. Sorry. What? I just had an idea. Sure. But then I, I just realized that's a terrible idea. So never mind. Okay. You I was thinking tell next us. year people could send us their cookie samples and we could be the judge. But then I realized <laughs> that they could poison, poison us. us. <laughs> yeah. And so we scratched died. that idea. <gasps> God damn. Damn. Wait, why how? do there have to be bad people out there? Because that would be fun. That would be so fun. How could we do that? <laughs> Run it through like a little poison scanner. <laughs> we'll or have Sydney taste it first. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. You just kill me. I know. I'm I was just kidding. I literally was thinking like a couple days ago too. It'd be so fun to have fans submit things that we could taste. That would be so fun. Like we do a chili cook off. Oh my God. Wait, mm. But how would they like, it'd be like the pink sauce fiasco. Yeah, so people sending shit that's like not temperature exactly. controlled yeah that's Damn I mean, there's a lot of problems that present themselves um but yeah that would be really fun maybe we should have like i don't know people in the office make cookies that we but that that's like a pain in the ass on their know. end well maybe us four can make, make cookies, cookies and do a little okay. thing later this season no promises we'll see no promises okay like i said shit's gonna get crazy now that i have a baby i got no time to cook mm -hmm. make cookies plus i'm a terrible baker you don't want my cookies I'm really not good at following directions. No, you're not great at following directions. I'm good at pasta sauces, and that's about mm. it. I love pasta sauce. Fuck, I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten anything. Mm. All right, that's going to be it for this week. Yeah, we will fun see hanging out. you on the next sesh. But until, until then, then, keep it fresh. fresh.